Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to start a new series of Parallels Remote Application Server. So you can verify from the name Parallels. Uh, Parallels is a one of the leading company which is providing a um, solution for virtualization and so a solution for publishing the application desktop or RDS machines uh, to the cross platform like you can say you can publish the VDI, you can publish any uh, Windows machines, Windows application on the platform which is a uh, cross platform like you can publish Windows application on mobile devices, Mac machines and any other devices. So we'll see how we can publish uh, VDI, remote desktop services, application and remote PC by using the parallel. So since this is an introduction video, I'm going to show you uh, what all the features we c which we can retrieve from parallels and how how we can uh, parallels look like parallels administrative console and parallels at the uh, end user how we can um, use the parallels from the administration end and from the user end uh, end user end also so basically the first thing which I want to introduce you in my demo environment so what I'm using to give you this uh, series and tutorial on parallel so I have my physical machine which is um, having Intel Core i7 7th generation processor and memory is 128 gig and I have 1 gig SSD on my, mis my physical machine and I have installed on this machine Windows Server 2016 so here you can see this is my physical machine having uh, CPU i7 28 gig of memory and this is my second machine which I have at my home which I'm using for recording videos and this having Windows Server 2016 and on top of this physical machine I have installed VMware Workstation Pro 15 so if you want to see this is what I have installed on this machine so VMware Workstation 15 Pro on this machine and top of this machine I have lots of virtual machine running which we are going to use in this demo for example we have a domain control which is running Active Directory and DNS services we have our parallel server you can see here uh, I have installed parallel application remote server console here on this machine and this server having parallel application you can see from here so just wanted to show you what is installed on this parallel server so you can see we have created one farm which is parallel g01 so we can uh, authentication type it single sign on we'll see how we can install parallel application and how we can set up all these things together so let's connect and here you can see what we have this is Parallels remote application server console and from one point from this console you can control everything like uh, your session host servers you can see these are the session host servers and you can control your VDI's from here like uh, virtual desktop host your hypervi hypervisors you can uh, manage the pools RDS template and uh, RDS templates like uh, your VDI templates what are the persist uh, machines you have like this is going to be full management of your VDI session host servers remote PC also you have a uh, publishing agent here what is the, the what all the publishing isn't available so we'll see in detail all these things uh, which uh, what is considering in farm and we have a load balancing method also so you can see parallels is going to be uh, considered load balancing in these user session memory and CPU all so you can uh, you can select whatever you want like if you want to based on user session only it's going to work on a user session so you can customize the load balancing and then we have a publishing you can see what we have published right now we have published one application uh, like we have published lots of application here and then we have published one share folder if I go here you can see what is published here and under the application type you can see 
what we have published like this is the parameter which I have published so this is basically a share folder which we have published so if I go here and add you can see we can from this palace application we can publish publish lots of things like you can publish applications desktop you can publish app v application which is something uh, container based application we have a web application publishing we have we can publish documents like Excel and anything and also you can publish any network share folder so uh, we have all these features like if you want to publish a desktop click next you can see what type of desktop you want to publish like terminal services VDI or PC so we have lots of uh, uh, flexibility in this parallel tool uh, which we can customize according to us and then we can use it selecting filter watch or to like um, what you want to filter so if you want to filter anything a based IP address or anything then we have a file extension option so everything is there like if I select word we are going to get the file of association uh, you can associate the uh, files which you want to publish automatically open by these applications so we have licensing everything is there so you can publish all the things which you want uh, really want to publish in your infrastructure through the parallels and users can access all these things from a one single point uh, which is parallel client so this all feature we are going to discuss in detail uh, when we are going to do all these things step by step so in this demo we have one domain control we have one parallel server a part of this we have two RDS server RDS01 and RDS02 and then we have two Hyper-V host and which is running basically a few virtual machine and virtual desktop which is published here uh, VDI so you can see our Hyper-V host we have second Hyper-V host which is v 2 and then we have two thin client machine here you can go and see this is simply Windows 7 machine and you can see Palace clients are installed on this machine if I go here this is my parallel server so if I click on connect you can see all the application which I have published here through this palace application we can see there whatever is published so we can launch this like we can launch this Windows 10 um, VDI so you can see the machine is powered on if it's in power of state it's going to be powered on automatically and then we can open the shares also if you want to open any word application powerpoint you can open it so same it's going to take some time uh, for the first time connectivity and then you are going to be connect all the application together and on an instant click so you can see this is running and same you can see from here on windows 7 machine 2 also so you can see now it's logging to our Windows uh, 10 VDI machine. We are logged in successfully. So you can see, same you can see if I right click here and click on connect, it's going to single sign on is available. So it's going to connect automatically. So now you can see it's going to power on the second machine and we are going to connect. So this is going to be very interesting tutorial so we are going to see how we can do all this together by using the parallels and how we can utilize this parallels application to control all the publishing all the application desktop RDS session from a single console and how we can uh, like do the things uh, administration with the parallel so you have also monitoring feature which you can configure and enable and you have administration you can see or oh, you can add and remove administrator if you want and what type of administration you want to give like root administration what type of administration you have also feature this is a very advanced feature you can see help desk so a uh, user can log a ticket automatically on a help desk and then help desk email they can contact with the uh, 
uh, administration or IT department and then we have a setting you can export and import full uh, parallel server exp settings so you can export anywhere so this is going to be exported setting so everything is there you have a notification thing also you can enable reporting security audit you can see all the things whatever we have done in this parallel till now it's going to be record under this um, secure setting audit so this is the introduction about this uh, Palace application and now I'm going to start with the first video and we'll see how Palace in action so uh, this is all about the uh, Palace remote application server introduction video and catch you in second video in action so thank you for watching in this video and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye